Praise Lord, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Santosh coming to you with yet another edition of God is Good. You know, over the past several days, I think today is day 17, I believe. Over the past several days, we have seen that God is good. And people always tend to aspire bad things to God. And uh, we, through, I mean, being convinced through the word of God that it is not true and God is good. So whenever we talk about this, people will always take up this question. The question is, what about Job? If God, I mean, God loved Job, so that is why he went through so much of troubles and trials. This is what people say. Is it true? That is what we started discussing yesterday. And I think we'll go on for a few more days on this subject. Till we come to the conclusive evidence and to prove beyond doubt that God is good. Okay. So what is it that I am going to teach you today? I am going to teach you one thing today. That is, see, whenever people talk about Job, and many claim that they too are Job, you know, whenever people talk about Job, they will say only about the things which happened, you know, when he lost everything, when he lost his children, when he lost his wealth and all that. But does the Bible, <clears throat> what does the Bible ask us to consider regarding, consider regarding Job? That we can see it here. The Bible, the Bible asks us to consider this. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Sorry. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Santosh coming to you with yet another edition of God is Good. You know, over the past several days, today is day 17, I believe. Over the past several days, we have been seeing how God is good. And I have shown you several verses which shows that, you know, God is... God is a God, I mean, he is a good God and he does not uh, uh, punish and, uh, you know, create all kinds of habits in our lives. Okay. And whenever we talk about this subject, you know, there is always a question which is, which, which always comes up. That is, what about Job? Yes, what about Job? And many also don't just ask, what about Job? They also feel that they are at another Job. You know, they are so proud that, you know, they went through uh, sufferings like that of Job. And they claim that they are also Job's. And do you know exactly what God wants us to look in terms of the life of Job? Yes, we can see that in, um, I think it is in James 5 and verses 12. See, the, the, it says, So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheaves and all that. Okay. And yeah, this is the verse I wanted to read to you. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord. That the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. So, here it is very clearly the Bible asks us, the word of God asks us to consider the end of Job. What really happened at the end of Job? That is what we are reading in, uh, I think this is in the 42nd chapter of uh, Job. So, the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. He actually doubled him. So, you should always remember one thing that is, whenever people talk about Job, they always talk about the earlier end, you know, the uh, past 
whatever distinctions happened, but they don't talk about the latter end of Job's life. But this is what precisely God wants us to consider, which many people don't do. You know, God blessed him abundantly. In fact, God blessed him double. He gave him double of everything he had. So, what can we come to the conclusion with today's thing? That it is God is good. He is really good. And we will talk about this more tomorrow, God willing. And please, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe to this channel and God willing, I will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you and bye.